Hi guys, this is part 3 of the Battle of uh, Cronium, uh, 376 BC, fought between uh, Himilco Mago over there, the Carthaginian leader, and Dionysus of um, uh, Syracuse uh, located there. And uh, yeah, we have seen loads of skirmishing happening. We are not yet really seen the main clash started even though we are in part three of this uh, uh, video series so let's see if it happens now it's still a bit uh, uh, of a distance between the main lines here but I think it's soon the skirmish uh, phase of this battle will be over and we will see some clashes uh, as you can see the skirmishing has uh, resulted in a lot of casualties already um, Okay, granted it's not only skirmish, we had seen some close combat action over here uh, when the two cavalry wings clashed. Uh, so, so some of these losses are from that. And as you can see in the victory banner count, the Greeks, the Syracusans have uh, two and the Carthaginians one victory banner at the moment. So yeah we can just continue from here i guess so it's the syracusans who go first and uh, well they got some actions on this hand we got some in the center we have a counter attack and that would actually be a move fire move because mm -hmm. that was the last card the Carthaginians played if you remember and then we have a leadership any section uh, also going uh, or as an option. And uh, hmm, I was wondering if the is the move fire move of any use for us right now? Could be to move up some lights. Uh, hmm, it could be interesting. We could get some of the lights back here to up front actually I mean we got two movements uh, with this uh, car so we could get our auxiliaries to the main line here basically they could reach perhaps that hex from here uh, without firing of course in that case those guys could move up fire and then retreat back that could be an option here we have uh, something we could do we could fire out fire with these guys and we could retreat a bit with those um, slingers who have uh, gone down to two blocks uh, also over here we can do some battle action so maybe maybe this is a um, quite okay card to kind of uh, end the skirmishing for the Greeks as the last skirmish card because it's kind of good so we could get actually one two three four units to battle this turn in that case and as a bonus we could get those auxiliaries uh, joining the center line and uh, hmm with a good with a good two move uh, because we can activate five units with this card um, I'll do that. I'll play the counter attack at this point. So it's a move fire move, five units. So one, we got two, we got three, we got four, and we got five down here. So um, these guys will move up one hex, they have moved, so we mark them with two blocks down. Those guys will not move at this point. Um, the auxiliaries. We move up here. Um, question is, who should we attack with the light cavalry here? We have a few options actually. We could start hitting one of those heavies here. right up here at least one two three four I might uh, target those lights actually because 
uh, even a flag on those guys would result in a loss for them because they can only retreat one hex. So maybe that uh, we can get a get a banner. No, but uh, a block loss there with that uh, attack. So that's it for the first movement. Let's do some combat. Um, let's start. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's start here. So it's one one die against that light there, and that was a miss. Too bad. We we'll leave it activated because we can move with those guys again. Um, Let's attack with the slingers at the same target, this time with two dice. And another miss, that was bad. Um, okay, from here we target those bows. Another miss, not good skirmishing from the Greeks now. Let's do the last one. Uh, it's one die with the auxiliaries there. And that's a flag which he must take. He can only go back one. So they go here and then they move one, uh, remove one block. Uh, like that. So all in all, only one block of damage uh, with this card. That was not what I anticipated, to be honest. But let's see. Our second movement, so I'm gonna join up with the ranks here, with that auxiliary. These guys will retreat back, one, two, three, and four, to their lines. Maybe one, two, three, four, yeah, let's go here. So we have the path open here, and then these guys. Uh, I will put myself there. So now I have uh, some auxiliaries in the in the hexes um, struggling on both uh, left and right hand section and the center section there. Okay. So that was the counter attack, and uh, grab the Greeks another card and see how the Carthaginians answer to this. So we have a line command, we could start moving up. Some guys, we could do two in the center. Four, the leadership card with four in the center. Heavy troops. Back here we have a line, another line command. And then we have four right. Okay. Kind of... Uh, kind of good options here. Start up the main fight, I mean. Too bad we have some cavalries in between uh, the sections here, so over there and over there, linking this line. So we cannot, with the line command, they will break that uh, that link because they are cavalry, because this is only for foot units, remember. So. But I feel we are kind of strong in the center now. We could. Also tempting, actually. Yeah, it's not that easy actually to decide something here. We could move up, stop moving up those guys. Um, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play that four right. I'm still in a kind of in a preparation for the big clash. So what I want to do now is to link these units here. So I will move these guys and the fourth unit will be Either I start, I do some skirmishing here, or I bring out these K 
cavalry before I close the gap here. Because the reason I play this card is to close the gap here so I can also with those uh, include those in a line command with the center then. That would be nice. So, but question is should I uh, move out that cavalry first? I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna move out these guys first before I close the gap there. And we go one, two, and three. I think I'm okay with that. And I still can do an harassment attack here. These guys will just move sideways to close the gap. Bringing the heavies a bit closer to the center line. And then we're gonna do that fire uh, or throw javelins against the auxiliary unit there. And we hit them. So good, uh, good cavalry skirmishing here. And that's that. So pretty, pretty solid and nice line there. Uh, and knowing we have some line commands cards in, in the hand, we can do some efficient moves. And remember, we also have that leadership center card, so we can in a few turns uh, in a row uh, activate the units in the center. Okay, so the Greeks then. Um, they also got this line command, they got the leadership any section, two in the uh, center, or start moving up these. And I, maybe I, I'll counter um, and start moving up some guys here now. So I'm gonna just activate these three. And uh, I'll move up these guys here, start to uh, um, get some threat against that uh, enemy cavalry there, and then move up some heavies and the warriors behind the heavies here. Okay, kind of a weird, weird line here, but uh, it's kind of a forming up phase here now. Uh, so that's it basically, there's no battle happening. So it's the Carthaginians again. Okay, they got a rally. Um, so what could we rally if we would play this now? You need to be with or adjacent to a leader to get the uh, benefit from a rally. Okay, over there we got some light cavalry we can get back. Over here we could get back um, that... Uh, uh, heavy chariot block over there more light cavalry I don't, I'm, I'm will not play this yet at least because I want to this, this could be handy later on in the battle so for now I will go with the uh, line command this means we will now order loads of troops here now the Carthaginian main line starts to move uh, and even there, that cavalry breaks the lines. We cannot activate those last guys over there. And uh, let's start here. These guys rush too forward. Auxiliaries can move too if they don't battle. The heavies. Uh, ah, we got those guys too. They move forward. Ah, maybe I should get these guys into safety first. Yeah, let's go back here. Also providing some support here. Move the heavies. More heavies coming. Auxiliaries move up, they can actually uh, do ranged battle. Mediums, more mediums, Libyan infantry. Uh, then we got these guys. I'm gonna move them just one block sideways. They can still fire, and these guys can also fire. Pretty cool. So, as you can see, we are closing in for the main action now. 
and um, let's start with some fire then. So the bows attacks uh, the enemy auxiliary right there. It's a one die. Okay, they forced them to retreat, uh, and now I see I should of course start with those guys because the, these guys now retreat back here, and these guys don't have any target anymore, but would have fire with those guys first. These guys should could should still have fire because they have a range of three. But okay, that was my mistake. So the genians lost their opportunity by that. Uh, and then we have these guys. They'll just fire away against that weakened. Uh... Oh, by the way, I should have moved away with those guys in the last turn in the move fire move. Uh, why didn't I do that? That was dumb of me, but anyway, that's how it is. Now we're gonna fire here, it's one die. We are supported though, but another hit coming in here. So now, these guys really need to go away and hide. So that was a line command. Let's place it there and... those blocks and then it's the Syracusans again. More on this flank, some in the center and the line command. Well the line command could actually activate quite a lot of troops now and I think I'll do that this time because I want to get my lines in order before we clash. So I play the line command because this means I can order those guys all the way here and back here there we are too bad the cavalry breaks the line there but um, that's how it is so these guys will now at last get away they rush back here no it's a line command I can only go one hex so they go there um, start moving up some heavier troops now for the clash More heavies coming up. These guys can fire. And more hoplites marching up. Here we go. So we have a few range battles still to do. It's a bit more forming like a line now, but not really yet. Um, so, who should we fire at? I think I want to target some of the heavier troops now, so these guys fire at those medium heavy, it's one die. They missed. These guys with two dies against that uh, medium heavy that has the leader, uh, Himilko himself, and that was a miss. Then we have these auxiliaries, and they will target those heavies there with a the leader. It's two dice. And miss. Not good skirmishing from the Greeks now. They are... Uh, maybe they are <laughs> beginning to run, run out of missiles now. We have, he has seen some skirmishing for a long while now, so maybe... Uh, maybe that's what's happening here. So, okay, Carthaginians, now they got the mounted charge also, but uh, not too many cavalry that could use this. And remember, we don't have the hoplite rule in effect, so uh, even though we have some Greek hoplites on the Carthaginian side, we cannot use this. Uh, so let's wait with this card. I'm not too interested in that right now. Not the rally either, for now. So we got the line command, we could now we can now actually get this started. And I'll do that. I'll play the second line command now. Because now it's big time. So we start all the way over here with activating units. And down here, all across the line. This is really an efficient line command. Don't you agree? It's the, basically the whole line. Too bad those guys are left. No, actually, here's a link, so we can 
also start moving these guys now. Brilliant. So, um, how should we do this then? Let's take it a bit easy on this flank. We just move here. We can battle. The lights will rush up over here to be ready for skirmishing next time from the side. Or even engage those uh, Greek light cavalry there. These guys will just rush in and get their hands dirty now, like that. Uh, Oh, it was a line command, so I can only go one, right? I always forget that, so these only, they will only reach here. I wonder, did I want move these guys two hexes? Or only one? I think it's only one, because I left them uh, back to in firing mode here, so... But these guys will only reach here, I guess. Okay, let's... Let's move in the mediums here. More mediums coming in. Uh, what can I do with these auxiliaries? They can only... Uh, they had to stand in reserve here, I guess. But let's move them here so we can order them from, yeah, from two different uh, sections. And these auxiliaries will march in here. The bow unit stays, these guys stays, and these auxiliaries, well, just let's put them one hex forward so we can put some fire on those weakened units there. Uh, then we have some more guys here, let's just start marching with the medium heavies and the Gallic warriors here. Like that. Okay, here we go. Loads of movement happening, and now, at last, the lines reach each other, and we can begin the clash. So, where to start? I'll start with throwing some javelins here against that cavalry. I mean, cavalry a bit of fragile, so it's always good to hit them. Not the flag, but those guys are supported, so nothing happened. Then we do a close combat here over these guys cannot retreat they are supported but they have nowhere to go so they 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 will probably get eliminated this turn because now comes a heavy uh, with an attached leader attacking it's five dice and they're down to three blocks and let's see we need three hits we got one we got two and we got the flag we actually didn't get him because he can ignore that flag He's supported, remember, but he lost two blocks. This means he can battle back, and that's three dice. No leadership support. And they actually hit with two. That's not bad at all. So two of these heavies down by that auxiliary unit, that's really that's really cool. We need to check the leadership uh, or the, um, the leader loss check, he's fine. That's that. Um, what next? I think we're gonna eliminate those guys. Okay, it's a kind of way to the five dice against um, one block, but we want to get that unit before it escapes. So we get that banner for it. So it's five dice. We need one hit, we got it. So these guys are now done for. So we get a second Carthaginian. Victory banner. We could move in here, but that would break the line, so I will not do that. Um, over here. Uh, okay, let's let's see. Let's do some fire now. So we're gonna attack with the bows against that auxiliary there. Uh, 
complete miss. Um, let's fire with those guys against those hop, uh, hoplites with the leader. And they got a flag and I think I'll take it. I'll move back. So the slinger is going to fire at those guys then. Two dice. Nothing. That, those are lights. Or auxiliaries. So. Also for the Carthaginians, the ranged fire doesn't do much effect. Okay, they forced back these hoplites, but that was kind of a uh, want, wanted uh, retreat from those hoplites. But maybe we are also seeing a shortage of missiles here too. So let's continue then. Let's do the um, auxiliary against auxiliary fight here. So the Libyans attack these uh, uh, whatever these could be. So three dice and we missed them completely because we don't have a leader adjacent to us. The Greeks uh, retaliate and got a flag on us, so we need to take that actually. We go back here. So these guys just bounced. Okay, so these guys only have one target, so they will attack that uh, light bow unit who will evade. But I will roll those four dice and hoping for some green symbols. Ah no, they evaded successfully back here. Okay, and then maybe the climax of these attacks. Um, Himilko himself leading attack with some Libyans against some Greek hoplites here in the center. Probably Italian hoplites. And it's four dice and now of course we have the leader with us. So it's two hits and a flag and these guys are not no more supported uh, because we eliminated the unit adjacent to it. So we only have one other guy adjacent so uh, two down and then they need to retreat. So they went back here with big losses and by that they cannot retaliate. And this means we could break out with Himilko and charge them again. And I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, I don't like breaking the lines like this, but this is too good. So I wanna get rid of those hoplites now. So I'll do this second attack here now. Bonus close combat because I have a leader with me. And we sure did get them. Awesome. That hoplite unit is done for, and we got the third banner. Suddenly we have the Carthaginians in, in lead here. And I could move one more, but that seems just crazy. So I will stand here and hope I survive with Himilko there. And that was the line command. Pretty cool. So we're gonna grab the Carthaginians, another card. Then we check what the Syracusans do. Okay, heavies. We have actually two heavies who could reach an enemy and attack. Those guys and those guys. Or a leadership any section that would um, Activate for instance that cluster of units or that cluster of units or these two. We have two in the center or two on uh, two cards with two on the left hand side. So a few options here now. Um, Yeah, I'm a bit scared about these guys, so I would like to push back Himilko again. 
question is who should we do that with? I'm going to play the leadership menu section and I will activate Dionysius and three units with him like that and it's time to attack Himilco so this will be an epic clash here with the army leaders uh, clashing into each other and then I'm gonna follow up my because the Catalinians bounced here, I'm going to rush after them and get them. And here we move up. I'm going to attack those mediums, the Libyan mediums there. And these guys just follows. So here we go. We got three attacks coming in. And um, where should we start? Let's start here before. Because if I attack with Dionysus first, they might, you know, march in here and attack again, and then these guys don't have any leadership to support anymore. So I want to do these first, uh, so I get the bonus from the leader adjacent to me. So these hoplites will attack this Libyan medium heavy infantry here. So it's uh, four dice, and we have leader support. And that was really lucky for us. We had that because we hit with three, uh, thanks to that. So good hit here, actually. Um, but they stand their ground and we'll hit back with four. And they got one hit and two flags, interestingly. Let's see. Uh, first of all, let's take that uh, block away and then we can ignore one flag because we're supported, but the second one we need to take. So we got actually pushed back here. Um, and now. Well, these auxiliaries were intending to attack these guys, but as they see the weakened uh, Libyan infantry going down here, they do a flank attack there instead. So three dice, we need one hit. We got it, we actually got two hits. So those Carthaginians are done for. Uh, very interesting. So the Syracusans, even the victory banner count up, so we have three against three here and I think I will rush in here because if I get attacked and Dionysus is still here I get support from him but we still have the epic last battle here uh, to do so it's Dionysus against uh, Himilco and Dionysus will go first ah oh, this is heavy so we got five dice actually wow this can be this could be devastating. Let's see. Okay, we wanted blue. We got no blue. We got one attack here. That's a miss. And we got three flags. Okay, let's see. First, we take the loss. Then, we need actually to check. Let's keep these three flags there and roll for Himilko. Can you believe it? Oh, Himilko, like his father, died in front of Dionysius. Oh my, this is crazy. So even if the Katrinas will win this battle, if they do, uh, Himilko will not be alive to witness it. And remember, now we got these three flags, and we don't, we cannot, we can't really. Ign Ignore even one flag here. Yeah, so they, they need to retreat three hexes now because they don't have any support. Uh, because uh, Himilko did fall, this is crazy. So they will go. Uh, well, I'm tempted to go here and to this cluster, but I'm a bit afraid of these guys being alone. So I will go one, two, and three. Uh, getting some support on this side of the of the center and that's not all actually because he can now move there Dionysius himself 
and attack the next one which would be an uh, probably another Greek phalanx here so uh, we got another battle coming in it's five dice again and we got this time two hits and a flag so we take the two hits first the flag they can ignore because they are supported and they will now hit back against Dionysos and uh, wow they are they are actually adjacent to a leader so this will oh wait a minute this is four hits so these guys battle back <laughs> this is carnage so Dionysus' uh, whole phalanx goes down in this second charge oh, sorry I'm gonna put them on this side and actually give the Carthaginians uh, another uh, victory banner. By the way, we need to give the uh, the Greeks another victory banner because of Himilko's uh, demise, right? So that's it. And well, we actually gonna see what happens with Dionysus now, now because he's alone there. Oh, he survived. This would be crazy if both <laughs> um, both the army leaders would die in this battle but he can now retreat and he goes back to this bow unit here and this is just crazy really really crazy okay so once the clashes start happening you know it's it's it goes really really fast uh, but in this case both has taken some really heavy heavy casualties and that's evident by this uh, victory banner count as well so we still got the Cartaginians to do. Oops, it's a rally card upside down here. Um, two in the center, the mounted charge. Would give me another ban. Um, die. Well, we could actually now get in our chariots with a mountain charge. That would be five dice against those guys. Could do some crazy attacks here. Well, I'm a bit tempted actually. To do some crazy things here but let's see first what we have we also have the leadership uh, center we don't have any leader because Himilko is done for we got some heavy troops and that could be the one now also because we could go in with our heavy infantry and we could actually do that charge here as well and we had a rally ah oh, yeah we could get back some heavies with that that could be important now or we could do a little bit of lull in the battle and skirmish. Um, many interesting options here. That could be something. That could be something. The rally could be something. And even the light troops is, could be something. We could skirmish away here. We could attack with uh, some lights here. And also on, the, on this side maybe not anywhere but rally heavy troops ah. hmm. I think I go with the rally now my hope is to get back some heavies here so I'm gonna roll six dice hoping for reds and I hope for leader symbols and some lights could be good over there as well. Well, we got one heavy, we got one leader and one light. Also got the medium, but I don't think we have any mediums adjacent to a leader right now. That's decimated. The only guy we have is the medium heavy infantry there. So here we go, and I will actually...
Well, let's bring back one of these bow units here, or bow blocks here. That would be the light. And then I'm gonna bring back one heavy to each. And this means these are activated. Also, those guys are activated. Okay, so we're just gonna fire here, but here we're gonna attack. Too bad those guys both will evade if I attack those. I have to worry about these heavies. But well, they're gonna do this anyway. We have a good chance, you know, to get some during the evasion and when these guys evades we might even kill them it's only one block you know so let's do this so here we attack first against those uh, slingers they try to evade we will roll five dice and if we get one green we got them and we did that so it was good enough this gives us uh, the fifth banner I'm happy so here we got the second attack coming against the cavalry who evades uh, let's bring him here. It's five dice again, and now we're looking for blue symbols. But we were unlucky with these rolls, so no cavalry down. And, well, kind of fear the retaliation for the Greeks. They have these heavies here uh, close by, so they can do some heavy attacks now. Because they also have a leader with them, so they can do one attack and then a bonus attack. That could hurt. But let's see. That was a rally. No, it's not yet done because I have the bow fire that is still to do. And I'm gonna fire away against. Hmm. Let's pick these auxiliaries. So it's two dice. Only one on green symbols now. We got one. Good bow fire here. Strengthened by this rally, they got some archers back to the to the line there who could fire. That's it. Now we're gonna grab the new card for the Carthaginians, put them there, and I think I end part three here. I uh, think we have seen some really exciting battles now when the lines clashed uh, at last here. So thank you for watching and bye for now.